This video tutorial is to show the tools available on this moving coverage map and navigation page. The moving map shows the green sprayed ribbons at your swath width. Also, any navigation points that are visible and the aircraft in the middle showing flight direction straight up. There are buttons on either side of the moving map that give you quick access to the required tools during your application operation. This button tool is to change your baseline or AB line as some of you prefer. This button is to mark a navigation point. When you click on it, you mark a point it will enter the exact latitude and longitude of where your aircraft is. If you want to change this to another latitude and longitude, then touch the edit button and change to the desired lat and long. Okay. Now give it a name. So in here, you can hit it to edit the name and call this rice 3 whatever you want it to be now you have a choice of where you want to store this point it can be the point that shows the job you are working on or it can be stored to be called up in at any time this is the pu public button now touch OK to accept so I hit public okay so now I have a point it is called race 3 you see it right next to my aircraft there the next button is the go to button that opens your list of all of the navigation points note at the top of the list is the last spray point that gets automatically stored also note that there is a distance from where you are at to this point as well as the general compass direction to select a nav point, just touch it and hit OK. A new field. OK. You will now see a lover line that goes directly to your next point, which is the field. At this any time, you can cancel this nav point selection by touching the Go To button. The next button is the Job Summary button. This will show you the job name the customer, the swath width, the total gallons used, the amount used in your hopper, which you can zero at any time, as an example between each load. Also, it gives you the flight time, it gives you your spray time, the time that you have the spray on and off, and then it gives you your total acres and it gives you the area that you have sprayed so in other words you can zero this in between different fields and still have your total acres the next button is the menu button this gives instant access to a calculator as well as to be able to exit this job and to be able to start another job. Also, this is the settings button to access all the settings in the system. We will cover this later in a future video tutorial. The upper right button is for information only. It shows the current gallons per minute going out of the boom. The next button is a toggle button to switch between automatic flow control and manual flow. When you select manual, it will open the flow valve fully open so you can control the flow with your manual flow valve. This button is to open your flow control settings page. You can bump your flow rate by using the up down arrows. or by touching the rate in the middle and put in 
what your desired rate is. Also, for helicopter operations, you can set the minimum speed that the flow rate will go to, to at which point to go any slower. It will maintain the flow rate of the minimum speed. This half swap button is a toggle switch to change the flow rate of the flow control to match the rate required for you when you turn off half of your boom. The button on the lower right is the view button. It will freeze the map in its current location and you can select from the three choices buttons. The first is center on the last spray point. The second is center on the polygon if you have a polygon it's used. The third one is to center on the aircraft. While it's in this mode, you can use your finger to drag around wherever you want to see. You can also zoom in and out to be very specific where it is. And again, if I want to center on my last spray point or my aircraft. To go back to the moving map, just click the view button again. Thank you for watching this video tutorial and hopefully our other video tutorials as well. Also, feel free to contact our support and sales team using our contact menu on our web page.